Noobcast. Greetings, fellow noobs. Welcome to another Noobcast. Yes, yes. This is Lamas. And this is... Oh, crap. Is this Nazarene Crypt? Or is this Abyssal Caverns? I think this is Abyssal Caverns. Crap, I forgot to look. And this is... Will Yu Yang. Have fun, dude. Will you Yang? Will you Yang? Will you Yang? Will you Yang? Will you? Will you Yang? Will you? Anyway, his opponent is Verm. Verm in the blue Protoss pieces. Verm. Verm has ways of making you talk. Um, holy derailed train of thought. I had a bunch of things to say. And not saying any of them. Welcome to Noobcast, where we take joy. I was going to say pride, but I don't really take pride. <laughs> but take joy in watching and casting lower level replays for the purpose of entertainment. Some education, as limited as it may be. Mostly fun. And... Uh, fun and fun. Did I mention fun? <laughs> Actually, uh, we believe firmly, philosophically, that fun and there's that f, f word again. <laughs> that fun and educational games can happen at any level, not just at the pro level. And I think this is important for me to say every every so often as we see holy. Nexus first, Verm, in silver going Nexus first, and holy crap, the Terran going Command Center first. What is this? This is like, they're like totally metagaming each other and they haven't even scouted anything. Does he know? He hasn't seen anything. Does he know? He doesn't seen anything. But now Verm knows about the Command Center first. And Will Yu Yang is trying to kill his Protoss to shut him up before he gets back to his commanding officers to report on what's happening. But it doesn't matter because Worm is in an equally vulnerable position, so we can at least assume that this is going to uh, be a fairly. a game that's going to get somewhat into the mid game as both players are doing exceedingly greedy builds. <laughs> ah. But anyway, as I was saying, and uh, I keep wanting to make this point because I think it's an important one in regards to why it's good if you are in lower levels to watch other lower lower level players. Um, and I've, I made this argument a little while ago, I think... Uh, after having watched Hero stream for a while. I love watching Hero stream. I think his stream is amazing. Uh, I can't dream of doing some of the things that he does in his builds, just his unit control. Um, among many other factors, it's just untenable for me to try and watch Hero stream. And uh, I can... What I can what I can see by watching Hero Stream is what I can aspire to, what I can do, but what I, I'm not going to be able to learn what I'm doing wrong, A, what I'm doing wrong, because if I compare my play to Hero's play, I'm just gonna be discouraged. And I'm because it's even just on a mechanical level, there's no way I'm ever gonna play or be able to play like Hero plays. It's just not realistic. So, um, what I need to do is I need to be able to watch not only my own replays, because even watching my own replays, I am, and I think this is true of all of us, we are all, as we see the uh, orbital coming up, see when he's going to move that out. Uh, we are all geared, I think, to think the best of our own play and even if we're looking at our own stuff with a critical eye we're not going to 
see all the things that we do wrong. You know, we need to have other people look at our replays. And not only that, um, but, you know, not all of us have that opportunity either. But if... In a, in a forum like this, whoa, 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 whoa. Crazy ass misclick just happened. Oh no. <laughs> Will you Yang was like, hey, SCV party. <laughs> Oops. Um, getting everybody back to mining. <laughs> oh boy. That was funny. Anyway, my point is that if I am watching players of my skill level, and they are making mistakes that can be pointed out, I would say, oh, I do that too. That's something I need to work on. Whereas, if I'm looking at my own replays, that doesn't always take place. I don't get to see my mistakes as I might see them through someone else's eyes. Anyway, that's an argument for watching lower level replays. People at your skill level, or worse, or, or maybe a, just a little bit better, you know? Um, all that all that comes into effect in any case I think that this is a great forum for and you know whatever I am not the most knowledgeable person on the planet for Starcraft 2 especially recently where I haven't been playing as much so my own skill level has fallen off um, but I'm still watching just as much as ever GSL tournaments so um, but it's a good, a good, good forum for getting to see what else is happening in your league, what kind of gameplay you might be up against, and catching some of the mistakes that you might make macro, micro-wise, or otherwise. So let me shut up about what Noobcast is all about. And of course there's Stargirl, who's awesome when she gets to cast. Uh, we will have another Star Girl cast coming up very soon. I think it's going to be in control, so I'm pretty psyched about that. I'm a big fan of in control. Star Girl's a big fan of in control, so we'll be looking forward to seeing one of his games being cast by Star Girl. So Yars, um, expansions are up and running and thriving for both players. Uh, only two gas here for Will You Yang. But he does have his eBay up. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at Worm. Oh, Worm. He's pulling a pulling a play out of... <laughs> oh, I love it. Pulling a play out of Hero's book. Oh, my goodness. That was so awesome. He did get the Observer. But he can go... Oh, I guess he can't really go over there because of that. That was so awesome, Worm. You're my hero, dude. You're totally my hero. Worm, I think this is a silver level game. So it's not often that you're going to see Colossus drops at silver level or gold level or whatever this is. But I'm so happy that that just happened. That just made my freaking day. Awesome. Looks like Worm is supply blocked. Um, I think he needs to start making some units. He's got a nice supply lead here. Uh, and but I think he's um, check units here. Yeah, he's got a lot of. Uh oh. Yeah, get out of there. Get outer dodge. Uh, I guess he's not too. Yeah, he, I guess he's just way ahead. And he's just still going at it. Uh oh no! Oh no! Drop that bad boy! Oh! That was too bad. Will Yu Yang takes out the Warp Prism with the Colossus in it. That's a big loss, as you see that uh, food dropped significantly there. That's about eight food. We do have another. We have Templar coming out, Storm being researched. We have another Warp Prism coming out. I think he already popped out another Colossus. I don't know where it went. Maybe he didn't. He didn't he's not getting thermal extended thermal lance, so I guess he's not going to make any more Colossus. At least not yet. Um, but we are 13 minutes in, so we're starting to see the... Not starting to see, but the silverishness of the game is starting to become apparent. Where we see Verm getting really high in his money. Not able to keep up. Uh, at this point, because he doesn't... He's not 
producing off of his... He's got gates that are ready to produce and he's not making units. Uh, he could be upgrading, could be doing all kinds of things to spend that money. He needs more pylons. Uh, but he's basically doing pretty good. His Terran partner hasn't taken a third, and he's behind in workers, and you see the energy is up, uh, so he's not muling as efficiently as he could be. All kinds of factors here. What's going on here? Are these guys stuck? No, he just doesn't have these rallied. Um, another very minor mistake, but, but you see it often. Now, if he leaves without these units, you know, He's putting himself in a position to uh, putting himself in a position to be in a bad position. Second forge going down. Uh, he's not. Oh, he is finally upgrading some uh, upgrading some upgrades. Always helpful. Um, interesting. Hey, man, whatever gets it done. Observer following the command center. Surprise that Verm is... He either needs to move out or also expand right now. He's got... Uh, the, his food lead is falling drastically, but he is warping in more and more units, as we can see. Uh, and now he's actually lost the worker lead. For a long time, he was ahead in workers, and uh, Verm has stopped producing workers. I mean, 50 is probably more than you actually want on two bases, so he needs to get a third up. So, I mean, if unless he's... He might be deliberately cutting probes. Uh, I could see that, considering that he's not off of two bases. If he's looking to do an all-in right now with this... Um, it's a pretty good composition for doing an all-in. He's got a few Templars. Or, I'm sorry, he's got a Templar. Uh, three... I guess he just warped in a couple more. Unless they're up here looking for drops. Where did they go? But if you notice, none of none of his <laughs> none of his armies on hotkeys. What is this? Is this like a recon force? He's going to send this off to the third, I bet, to uh, do some damage. That's exactly what's going to happen. Going to send this off to Will Yu Yang's third. But the planetary is about to be done, and. Probably is not going to be enough SCVs. Oh, how much damage does the planetary do? 40 damage, so... Look at this. He's running a single... <laughs> Actually, like that. He's running one of the... He's running one of the zealots around. <coughs> Pardon me. To keep the planetary from focusing on the other units that were killing it. That was pretty damn awesome. <laughs> I love that. But the planetary will survive. He will get healed. He will queue up a bunch of workers. And Worm still with only a 10 food lead. Things are starting to get a little turtly, a little too passive. <coughs> Pardon me. I need one of those cough buttons on this microphone. Do not have one. Is he going to stick with Storm? Is he going to make some Archons? What's he going to do? Going to put those Templar in the back. Not on a hotkey. Oh, he put everything else. Okay, there are the hotkeys. <laughs> All this on one, these on two. Alright, there's the scan. He probably did get to see the tail end of that army moving out. He's going to come out and meet up. There's no ghosts in this army, so storms are going to be super, super deadly. <coughs> Zealots charging in. Where are your storms? Probably didn't even need them at this point. Zealots are doing so much damage. Feedbacks on the Metamax, killing all attempts at helping. And this is just pure ownage. And there's the only storm necessary. Doesn't even kill all of the Zells. Um, this is what you would call I guess the reason why this game got through the uh, filtration system was because of the cool, the fun Colossus drops, which freaking awesome. Then there was kind of a lull, and now this very quick ending. 
And the reason why it was a quick ending is because you cannot... This is for you Terran players. You cannot stand still and fight an army, any army mix with zealots in it. You have to stim and then you have to kite. You have to move back, stutter step, and kill off zealots and then come and attack the rest of the army. Now, obviously, this is not a good composition for Will Yu Yang because there's no ghosts and, um, you know, the storms are going to kill him. But this is a complete. It was a little one sided anyway. Um, Worm had pretty much a food lead most of the game. But. Um, for future reference, when you get your medevacs out and you've got stim, um, you must not stay still as a Terran bio army against any Protoss composition. You have to be, you have to have your army spread a, and you have to be able to micro your your bio ball. And if you can't micro bio bio ball, then you probably shouldn't go bio against Protoss, at least not in a long macro game like this. That's my opinion for what it's worth, all two cents of it. Um, yeah, don't forget Team Mucinex, I'm willing to help you get sponsored in esports, because <laughs> you're baller, and gamers get sick, man. Gamers get sick. Um, that's all I got for now. Keep climbing that ladder, guys. Thanks for supporting Newcast. Peace.